Hello, this is Jennifer Snyder for the Flying Unicorns. Today I'm going to show you how I assembled my off the page project for the March Your Passion Your Art. The off the page project comes in every main kit. For the month of March it was an old fashioned bicycle. I'm starting with an 8x8 canvas and I'm using the reverse side of the canvas like a shadow box. Using a foam brush, I'm going to paint the whole canvas with Prima's chalkboard paint in egg blue. I want to make sure I also get the outside edges. Next, I'm going to take some sea breeze and accent the sky. Once I'm satisfied with that, I'll add some jewel blue to the sky. Once again, making sure I touch up the edges. Now I'm going to work on the ground. I'm going to add some chalkboard paint in sand color. I'll finish up by adding a bit of grass using golden olive. I want to add some dimension to the canvas, so I'm going to take some strips of Prima's Belarouche paper and I'm going to attach it to the canvas using Prima's soft matte gel. I'm simply taking the strips adding the soft matte gel to the canvas with a foam brush and just using that as a glue. It adheres quite nicely. I added some accents to the paper using some Distress ink. Now it's time to pull out Julie Nutting stamps and the first one is Toby. And this is Dog Treats. And this is Fun Times. The Fun Times stamp set are some adorable accessories for the doll stamps. I'll be using watercolor pencils, so I'm going to use watercolor paper pad. I'm going to use Stazon ink so that it doesn't muddy my watercolors. And I'm going to use Prima's acrylic stamp block to get a nice, smooth, complete image. I really love using the acrylic stamp block with the Julie Nutting dial stamps. I find I can get just a cleaner image. I don't lose appendages. That's always a good thing. You'll see I stamped a little girl. I decided not to use her in this project, so just ignore her. Next step is going to be cutting out the dolls and then painting them. I'm using, like I said, the watercolor um, pencils from Prima. They're super easy to use, especially for beginners like me. Magic is all in the watercolor brush. It's a really cool tool that holds water and acts as a paintbrush for the, the pencils. Once I'm done coloring with the watercolor pencils, I'm going to take a chalk edger and accent the hair and the shoes and the dog. My characters are done. Now I'm going to paint some chipboard grass. The chipboard's from Too Crafty and it's ATC size, actually perfect for my 8x8 canvas. Now I'm painting some Too Crafty weather icon shapes. These are clouds. I just decided to paint it with my finger. Real quick. It's time to start assembling the canvas. I'm going to add a dab of glue here and there to the bicycle and I'm going to insert it into the canvas like a shadow box. I don't really intend for the glue to hold the bicycle in place. I have another little trick for that. I'm pulling out the monofilament line or fishing line. I love this stuff because it's clear and very durable. I'm wrapping it around the bicycle and I'm going to secure it in the back with a staple gun. There, I think my bike is pretty secure now. I think I'm going to toss my dog in the basket. He looks cute riding in the basket. I'm going to add some more chipboard. This is some thistle from Too Crafty. I painted the tips of them with Claudine Helmuth Studio Paint in yellow and pink. Now I'll just glue them to the canvas. I'm using a wood skewer to secure Toby and make him a bit stronger. Just glue onto the back of Toby and a small piece of skewer onto the back of the dog and they're a heck of a lot more durable. There we go. Toby's all set and so is the dog. One last detail. 
the kite from the Fun Times stamp set collection. I cut two pieces of the kite, one for the bottom and one for the top, and I'm gluing them together like a sandwich. In between the sandwich, I added some fibers and a piece of wire, and I'm going to wire it on to the bike. I added pop dots on the back of the kite as well. This adds dimension. And here it is, all done. You can see that by turning the canvas around and using it as a shadow box gives the project a nice dimension. It also adds a little more support for the bicycle. Adding the wood skewers to the back of the Julie Nutting doll stamps, Toby and the dog, is a great way to make them more durable for off-the-page projects. Flying Unicorns kits go on pre-sale the 20th of every month so you never have to miss a kit. They sell out fast, so make sure you grab yours. I'm Jennifer Snyder. On behalf of Flying Unicorns, thank you for stopping by.